Well, hey there, and welcome back for another Second Hand Opinions video, guys. Uh, I'm Jason Alderman. You guys know it's probably a little early for me to be laughing about this, but I could not help it one bit. <laughs> I'm thumbing through the news articles today looking for things that are important to cover, maybe. And I wasn't going <laughs> to... I wasn't going to cover Ruth Bader Ginsburg passing away because it's not directly newsworthy. I mean, it's a great potential for us to swing the courts, and I'm, I'm happy for that. Uh, I'm not happy that she passed away. I'm never happy for anybody's passing. That's not the kind of guy I am. Uh, but this article over here at the New York Post was just hilarious to me. Not, be, not because they're trying to tie Donald Trump's hands again, which is obviously what they're doing. We expected that, that crazy horse crap. No, because the poor woman's been dead for an hour and a half, maybe two hours, and New York Post is already politicizing this poor woman's passing. Let's go over here to New York Post and take a look at this craziness, man. I could not believe this. What's next? Ruth Bader Ginsburg's dying wish was to not be replaced until January. Oh, do tell you don't say. Imagine that... <laughs> The dying wish of Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg was not to be replaced until after the next president is inaugurated in January. How are they so confident, so arrogant? My most fervent wish is that I will not be replaced until a new president is installed, Ginsburg said in a parting statement she dictated days before her death Friday to her granddaughter, Clara Spira, according to NPR. Ginsburg died from complications from metastatic cancer of the pancreas, the Supreme Court announced. Her final wish acknowledged the battle to come. Her departure as a far-left leader of the court could jolt the bench farther to the right, setting the table for potential challenges of landmark decisions like Roe v. Wade. Yeah, I don't, I don't think anybody's actually challenging Roe v. Wade. I don't think anybody is challenging Roe v. Wade. I think that's just a pipe dream they spew. They, they throw down there to kind of upset people and and uh, get them to react emotionally. They said that Kavanaugh was going to go against Roe v. Wade, and here we are a couple years later. I'm waiting. A third appointment from President Trump would give conservatives a 6-3 to three majority. Our nation has lost a jurist of historic stature, Chief Justice John G. Roberts Jr. said of Ginsburg. We at the Supreme Court have lost a cherished colleague. Without Ginsburg, the Supreme Court is left with three liberal justices, Stephen Breyer, Ellen Kagan, and Sonia Sotomayor. The conservative justices include Clarence Thomas, Brett Kavanaugh, Neil Gorsuch, Samuel I Ito, and John Roberts, also leaning to the right. Well, I hate to tell you poor guys this, but first of all, it's not your decision. Second of all, you've tried to tie Donald Trump's hands for his entire presidency. Nextly, um, you know, Ginsburg vote would have been to survive to January if she wanted someone to not replace her until then. She doesn't get to pick and choose, and you guys don't get to have it both ways. It's sad. It's unfortunate. This is kind of disgusting that New York Post would come right out and be like, well, she said her last dying words were not to be replaced until January. Really? You don't think her dying words were, I love you to her family, or you're going to go with that. You're going <laughs> to... Yeah. Okay, New York Post. You can't even wait till she's cold before you desecrate her passing with politics. That's pretty disgusting. Let's all pretend like our opinions matter. Leave them in the comments below. And remember, this is social media, so do all the things.